How can you get more views on YouTube, keeping it simple, easy to do, and you can do it starting right now? I'm Rob, and I'm a YouTube product expert. And I've been doing this since 2011. Maybe you're just starting out, probably, or even if you've been doing this for a while and your channel is, is growing pretty well. Something that I see a lot of is people going about doing things, well, let's just say they could do it a better way. And it's just so typical that, that what I see with a lot of, of YouTubers, people here you know, on the platform making their videos, is they, they grab their video camera, their phone, whatever it is, and they go out and they, they say, yeah, I'm gonna make a video about how to grow on YouTube. And they take their camera and they go and they shoot their video. And, you know, and again, it could be a cooking video, a travel video, going on a trip, you know, doing your cooking, unclogging your kitchen sink, whatever it might be. They grab their camera and they go out and they shoot footage all day long. Then they go to their computer and they upload it and they use their editor on their computer and they edit it together and they make the length of video that they want to make. Then after they've got their video made, they say, gee, what am I going to use for a title? What keywords can I use? What am I going to make my thumbnail on? And it's turned around. You want to do it the other way. Don't do it this way. Do it this way. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to, you know, come up with your idea. Think about what you want to make your video on and have the idea in your head. Because we all want to make videos that we like to make on topics that we want. So think about what you're going to make your video on and then sit down at your computer and on YouTube start typing in things into the search bar and see what YouTube auto fills in for you because these are things that people are interested in looking for so type in different things YouTube this cooking that you know making whatever it is and start typing it in and see what YouTube auto suggests and then you can fine-tune it and come up with an idea that is the topic you want to talk about, the thing that you're passionate about, but it's in, in addition, it's something that people out there in the world are interested in and YouTube is telling you by the autofill that that's something that is popular. So you can work that into the topic of what you want to talk about. Super simple, right? Then once you've written down a couple of possible title topics it's not the exact title but you know the thought process with the autofill you can come up with your title that you're going to use for your video and you've got that written down on paper then what you want to do is you want to think about the different keywords that you can actually use and what i do then is i type my title into the search bar and and click search and then you know videos pop up and you look down the videos and you want to look for videos that are from channels that are you know similar to you in size if you're a small channel you know they could be a little bit bigger but if you see you know two or three videos and they're from a creator that has three million subscribers and the videos have 800,000 views you know you're probably going to want to rethink that title topic because the the chances that you're going to successfully compete in search you're going to be far down the page and maybe even on page two or three when people search for that term so you might have to go back and, and kind of quote start over and don't get frustrated about starting over it's a process you know trial and error trial and error but at least you're trying you know, rather than just making a video and throwing it out there and then saying, how come I'm only getting 50 views on my video? At least you're trying. So, sir, and then you go back and pretty soon you come up with the title. And when you search that title, the videos that appear are channels that are 
relatively similar to yours. You know, maybe a little bit bigger if you're a really small channel. And if you're getting to be a bigger channel, if you've got 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 subscribers, and the videos you see have one or 2,000 subscribers, then you're even in it, you know, better. But, you know, you've got to start where you are in search terms with quality keywords in your title are going to be the way to get your foot in the door because that's how people find your videos. Search is roughly 30% and recommended is about 70%, but you can't get recommended by YouTube until YouTube knows that you exist and you're out there. So you've, you know, the foot in the door is through search. So now you've got your title, you've got your two or three or four keywords that you're using in your title. You're gonna have those at the front end of your title and you've come up with a, a, a kind of a catchy phrase that's gonna grab people's eyes for the second half of the title that, that's sort of a hook type of thing. So people are gonna search and see that title and then they're gonna say, oh, this is why I should watch that. And you know, then they'll click on your video. So now that you've got your title and your keywords, the next thing that you wanna work on is your description. A good, solid description is really important. The very first two, two, uh, blah, the very first few sentences in your description describe the video, and you want to incorporate those title keywords and what your video is about in a attractive way. Because when people search, they get the title and they get the thumbnail, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then they get the first line or two of your description. So you want that to be what your video is about, and then you can explain more about the video in the paragraph or two, and do it in conversational English, because that's what the system, the algorithms are looking for, normal conversation in your description. And keep, when you're starting out, I suggest you keep links and things to a minimum. You can definitely put a link for subscribing to your channel in your description after a paragraph or two of text. And you can definitely put a link with the playlist for your videos in your description. But keeping it simple, I wouldn't put much else in there that way. You wanna keep people on your channel and watching your videos. So now you've got your title with its keywords. Now you've got a nice description the next thing you wanna do is have your thumbnail. And you want to be thinking about that thumbnail at the beginning. So with your title, when you were thinking about that at the very start, you're also thinking about your thumbnail and what your thumbnail is gonna say. And I just see so many thumbnails that look to me like they're just an afterthought. The person's made the video, they've come up with their title, They've written their description, and then it's kind of like to me, like, oh yeah, I need a thumbnail for this video. What am I gonna use? And they, you know, just grab a frame and maybe put the title right onto the thumbnail, and, and that's what they use. And you want the thumbnail to work together with the title. You don't want the thumbnail competing with the title, and, and there's no point in the thumbnail repeating the title. So you've got your title, and if you put the exact same words on your thumbnail, you're, you're just wasting real estate. And the truth is today with people with their smartphones and their tablets and they're scrolling, 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 they're not reading all those words anyway. So you just want something on there that's gonna grab their eye and to use the word clickbaity, just to make the point, you don't want anything to be true clickbait, but you want it to be clicky enticing when somebody sees your title and your thumbnail and whatever is the second part of your thumbnail, I mean, excuse me, the second part of your title and you know a catchy word or two on the thumbnail that gets people to stop scrolling and they wanna click on that. So think ahead spend significant time on the thumbnail and the image of the thumbnail is supposed to tell a story. Somebody should be able to look at that thumbnail image and 
elicit some emotion in them that, boy, this is something that I really need to see. They should be able, the thumbnail should stand on its own as an image. And any text that you put on the thumbnail is just an addition to complement the thumbnail that's already there. And again, it's going to really depend on your niche. Uh, a lot of times, cooking videos, for example, you don't need any text at all. Let the thing that you're preparing speak for itself. And if you're doing how-to, more educational, instructional type of videos, then you probably need, you know, two or three words on the thumbnail to help describe what that content is in that case. So it's going to vary, but definitely the image should tell a story all by itself. And any text that you put on there complements the image that's already there. People should be able to look at that thumbnail and get an emotional interaction with that. And the text should just be in addition to that. So keep it simple. You Tools are there to use if you want to use them, but you can do it simply on your own. And I know that you can get more views to your videos. You can grow your channel if you follow this simple, simple strategy. All right, and make sure to subscribe so that you stay updated with all these things. I'm here to help you solve the problems that you're having with YouTube and inform you of any information that comes available to help you grow on YouTube. Subscribe, watch another video, and I'll see you on the next video.